お嬢さんわしの孫になるのかえ,え After a lukewarm anime season with series like Ocean Oko Tower of Seven Frames This sorry excuse for a crossover and peak We have finally stumbled upon another huge anime season Filled with so many animes my plate will be looking like an all you can eat sushi platter So I'll be telling you guys all the continuing and new series I'll be watching this season. Before we continue with the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's free and it helps me out a lot. The isekai genre Perfected is finally returning for its long-awaited season 3, ReZero. Trust me when I tell you, if you haven't seen ReZero, you are missing out badly. My guy Subaru has been on death's door. Literally. This season will cover up to arc 5 and 6 and will be action packed as usual. The level of gore slash horror will also be jumping to a new level which personally I don't know how it could get even crazier compared to the previous stuff we've seen. <laughs> Expect a lot more lore and world building for the story as well. I don't think this series will ever be as iconic as animes like JJK or Attack on Titan but best believe me it will go down as one of the greatest isekais to ever get adapted. Speaking of the greatest, the greatest sports manga is back! Blue Lock, baby! Ah! Look how they butchered my boy in this trailer! What are they doing? Why am I looking at a PowerPoint presentation right now? I mean, I know it's 8-Bit Studio. After all, they're not really known for their great animation. But even Season 1 wasn't this bad. This is the U20 game. It's supposed to be one of the best arcs in the manga too. We were expecting greatness. Let's hope this trailer is just clickbaiting us, but this trailer is so off-putting, I might have to rely on TikTok edits instead of the anime. <laughs> Kubo! Drop another banger and my life is yours! Why is it that Bleach is returning again and I'm still not hearing all the hype it deserves? Like look at this trailer. How is the animation getting better and better and still panel for panel adaptation? Not only that, but listen to this. They are adding more anime original scenes that Kubo wasn't able to include in his manga when writing. Get your numbers up. I had to get my numbers up. Leaks have already been out for what some of them will be, but let's just say Studio Piro deserves the sloppiest head for the resurrection they're performing on Bleach, single-handedly reviving the Big 3 conversation for the adaptation they're doing alone. I have already read Bleach, so I know what's to come with the story, so I will say this, this coming core definitely has some high highs and low lows, but everything that I'm hearing being included, this core might actually get the hype it deserves. I'll leave you guys with this though, just know when you see a cat getting animated, it's over. A new series is getting adapted and coming straight from Shonen Jump. It's none other than Don to Don. You're hearing it here first. Don to Don will break through mainstream anime. This series is the craziness you see from Chainsaw Man, insane action you get from Jujutsu Kaisen, all with a splash of romance and comedy. Trust me, this series will be, if not bigger, than what My Hero was doing when it was first booming. You need to leave. I know I'm pouring honey on the series right now, but once everyone watches that first episode, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All it took was for two beliefs to crash together, and the next thing you know, they're fighting Godzilla in a giant mech suit. The random events these guys go through daily was comparable to Mordecai and Rigby from the regular show. And even though I'm glazing the action right now, trust me, there are so many heartfelt moments that just had me teary-eyed when reading in the manga. Please, for me, watch Don to Don. Don to Don won't be the only big manga from Shonen Jump's current serialization getting adapted this fall, but also a sports romance manga called Blue Box. For those who aren't familiar with it, the plot centers around Taiki, a high school student and member of the boys' badminton team, and his crush, Chinatsu, a talented player on the girls' basketball team. The story follows their budding relationship their pursuit of their sports goals, and the dynamic of high school life. The series focuses on both the romance between the characters and their passion for their respective sport, making it a blend of emotional moments and sport action. The best thing I'd say the series does is its heartwarming tone and relatable character development. 
Now, I'm kind of surprised that Blue Box isn't getting as much attention compared to the other names coming this fall, but sometimes I forget I'm an anime degenerate, and I know a lot more than the average anime fan. And adaptations are always the best way for small mangas to bloom. Yo, who approved for this scary ass manga to get adapted? Uzumaki, most known for its disturbing and uneasy panels, will also be getting an anime adaptation by Production IG for some reason. Now, I want to preface I'm not a hater or anything, but it's just that the author really did a great job displaying body horror in the creepiest ways possible, so seeing it get adapted could make it be a little more frightening, especially when sound effects, voice acting, and colored visuals come into play. I mean, I'll be watching, but I'm looking out for you chickens out there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Blue Exorcist returns with the Beyond the Snow Saga. The last two big arcs started to develop the different main characters because they're actually very important to the story and this series is a lot more than the individual characters and how they fit into everything than the action or battle or any typical shonen stuff as the beginning of the series seemed to make people believe. Ren and Yukio have not been getting much focus in the previous seasons, but continue watching because we're now at the best arcs of the series and the conflict of the last two seasons will soon start to make more sense in the grand scheme of things. Dragon Ball Dema. Now, before I continue with what I'm about to say, I also want to just preface, RIP to the GOAT Akira Toriyama, but f you Toei. Why am I not announcing that Super is returning and instead talking about Paw Patrol's Dragon Ball? Like dead ass. I am not watching this shit bro, they're kids. Like there's nothing interesting that's going to make me want to watch. <laughs> On that note, I will be watching Dragon Ball Dema. Thank you, Toei, for putting out more interesting content for us blind Dragon Ball fans to gobble up every year as we sit here and gaslight ourselves into thinking that one day, Super will return. Who's excited for SAO Gun Gale Online 2? Yeah, that's the reaction I assumed. A1 Pictures will never fail to animate SAO purely for the money they make off of it. Mindless drones flock to this popular series every time there's a new adaptation without fail, and I honestly have no clue why. Someone please let me know down in the comments if they plan on watching this because I'm definitely not and I'm honestly looking for reasons as to why people are watching it. Tonight. MF Ghost is back with season 2. For those who have no clue what it is, it's a sequel of the popular racing anime manga Initial D. I watched the first season and it wasn't hitting like Initial D was, but that's expected since we've already seen the best from the best from the first series. Nonetheless, I still found it very enjoyable and I'm excited to see what the second season brings. At the end of the day, they're gonna play Eurobeats for the soundtrack, so it's gonna slap regardless. Alright, now the real hidden gem of the season. If my wife becomes an elementary school student, yo, what kind of title is this? If I get caught watching this, they're gonna throw me in jail and give me Diddy as my cell partner. <laughs> Why'd you move to LA? Oh, for the kids. Oh, for the kids. Okay, I've done some research. So apparently, a young elementary school girl claims to be his reincarnated wife. Despite her new body, she retains the memories and personality of his wife. The story explores how Kisuke, the husband, copes with the unusual situation as the young girl tries to rekindle her relationship with Kisuke while living as a child. Honestly, with context, this still sounds AO, but we watching this for the culture, am I right? Ah, damn it. Anyway, these are some of the big named animes releasing this fall. If I missed anything, please mention them down in the comments. Let me know what animes you'll be watching as well. Make sure to like the video if you want to see more content like this and subscribe to see more future content. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.